Alrighty, hey everyone, how's it going? So today I want to show you my favorite game at the moment. It's called Exapunks. Unfortunately, the first thing I'm going to do is turn off that wonderful music so that I don't get in trouble on YouTube. Uh, let's jump straight in. I'm going to do one of the earlier puzzles, although I am quite far into the game. Hey, it's me from the future. Join me at this time code if you're only interested in the compiler part of this video. Uh, let's do Euclid's Pizza. The name of the game here is to steal a pizza by hacking into their system and appending our order, which is stored in file 300 over here, onto their system's order list, which is file 200 over here. And when to do that, we're going to use these little X's. So I've got two of them loaded up here. The first Xer is going to grab uh, file 300. It is then going to enter a loop. So we'll mark the start of the loop. Mark loop. And somewhere down here, we're going to uh, jump back to the loop. So that'll just loop forever. What we're going to do is copy the contents of the file one item at a time into the M register like that but to demonstrate what this is going to do I'm just going to copy it into the X register so let's let's loop over that so he's grabbed the file and now he copies each value one after the other into the X register so this will just be overwriting the contents of the X register each time so extra cheese will be copied next yes and then anchovies gets copied in there and then he's going to try again but there's nothing to read because the cursor is at the end of the file and so he will explode because that is not allowed uh, instead of copying from x to uh, from the file to x he's going to copy from the file to m m is a special register which will transmit from one exa to another uh, so if we do that he'll just get stuck um, he's waiting for another exit to receive that value before he continues with his program. So let's sort that out. The other exit, XB, we're going to link over to 800 and grab file 200. We are then going to use the seek command to skip to the end of the file. So we'll assume file has less than 10,000 items in it. Uh, let's just see how that goes. So he grabs file 200 and then his cursor is going to seek over to here. Yes, that's exactly what we want. Now we're ready to start receiving from XA. Uh, so we'll also enter a loop. We'll mark the start. Loop. And then jump. Loop. Copy from M into F like that. So this should more or less do what we want. So he's seek to the end. He's waiting for this to be sent across. It gets sent across. And our order is indeed being written to the end of file 200 down here, just as we anticipated. Now the problem is what happens at the end. So this guy will try to read past the end of the file and explode. That's fine. We're perfectly happy with that happening. The problem is XB will be sitting there going, okay, uh, I'm waiting to receive something uh, from the other guy and there's just nothing coming. So to fix that, uh, let's go up to the first one here. We're going to copy, actually we're going to go uh, test EOF uh, and use a conditional jump. So we'll do an F uh, jump to jump to a section over here. Let's mark this as okay to proceed. So, okay. So if it's not okay and we're at the end of the file, we're gonna do something special. Or we'll definitely have to halt the program, but we also need to copy some sort of value to let the other guy know that we've run out of values. So we'll just copy negative 9,999 over. And that should do it for XA. So let's test that out. He'll read along until he gets to the last value. Uh, hasn't reached it yet. Okay, so he's going to send anchovies, start the loop again, test if he's at the end of the file. He will be. It'll set the T register to 1, and therefore we won't jump. And now we're going to copy 
add that special signifier value to the M register. We're going to halt. So he works just as expected. But now XB has erroneously written that value into the orders file. That's not what we want. We wanted him to detect that value. So he's going to copy not into the F register directly. He'll copy the M register into the X register first. And then he will test X equals negative 999. Like so I think it wants spaces. And if that's true, we just want to jump to the mark exit oh yeah and we need to copy from the x register into the f register so that should do the trick so at the end here here it comes he's going to copy that special value over so there it goes it's sent over he's now going to test if x is equal to that special value uh, and it is and therefore he'll jump to the exit and explode and our order has been copied over that's it so we can run that and it works wonderful so now I want to show you the compiler that I have created to solve these puzzles here it is it's called Nix Exapunks Meta Language Compiler what language does it compile? I don't know. It's some thing that I came up with. Uh, but let's start a, a, a new game here. I'm going to create another solution. That's the way. And we're going to recreate the same logic. The first guy, he's going to grab file 300. He's then going to enter a, an infinite loop. As you can already see from the first instruction, it's mapped pretty much one as to one to the output instruction, so it's still kind of an assembly language. Uh, but the second instruction is a convenience for creating an infinite loop in this other part here. Hello, kitty cat. Say hello, Ori, because she, she doesn't want to look at you. Nobody wants to see your bum. What are you doing? So the next bit is to set the T register to EOF and we're then going to enter an if statement where we say if T is true uh, and open a block inside there uh, we're going to send the value negative 999 and then we're going to halt program if it's not the end of the file we will send the contents of the file register there we go so we pretty much have the exact program that we wrote before for one of the X's, but the output's looking a little bit messy. So what we can do about that is hit this magical optimize button, and in this case it is more or less the same length as the original program. One thing that might win us a single line of assembly language is to give the loop a label. Now as you can see that has done absolutely nothing uh, on the optimized output. But what it does do is allow you, instead of using the halt instruction, to do exit AA. And that will jump out of the loop instead. Uh, and, okay, that's not even better. It turns out that that's longer. I'll paste that into here, create a new exer. Alright, now the other guy, he link over to 800. He grabbed file... 200, a seek to the end of the file, he entered an infinite loop, the M register to the X register, tested if X register is equal to the special terminating value. If that is the case, halted the program, otherwise we send the value of X into the file that we're currently holding. So let's hit the optimize button. Uh, looks like we've got 11 lines. Let's try the approach that we did before, where instead of halting, we exit AA. There we go. Yeah, still 10 lines, not much difference. Okay, so what we'll do is we will copy those 10 lines uh, 
over into Exa B, and we will see if it works. And of course, it does. Let's speed through to the end of it. Uh, and here's our score. So, 33 cycles, 19 instructions. Um, let's see how that compares with the previous solution, which we did. Uh, I'll run this again. And that is 33 cycles, 19 instructions. So, pretty much equivalent. No surprises there. The logic was the same. So... There you have it. It is a compiler written uh, for Exapunks. Don't ask me why I did it. <laughs> the optimizer is not incredible, but it does do certain things, like it removes unused marks. There are certain situations where an F jump, all it's doing is jumping over an unconditional jump, and therefore you can toggle it to a T jump, which I I think, yeah, that's what it does. Those three lines there just get toggled into a T-jump. Um, so that there's a couple of simplifications that it does. And in a lot of cases, if you write your code on the left, understanding roughly what it does, then you can get pretty optimal results. If you'd like to give it a try yourself, the source code is up on the screen there. There's a GitHub link or down in the description. I might put it up on my website and put a link there as well. Anyway, I will see you next time.